Lori. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys grocery shopping with me because my fridge is getting pretty empty. So I thought that it might be interesting to show you guys what I usually get on a weekly to bi-weekly basis. So I used to do most of my grocery shopping at Trader Joe's, but I recently started going to Whole Foods more often just because I realized that their produce, especially their fruit, is a lot more cleaner and fresher and they just have a bunch of cool healthy snacks. So I like to just go there and shop around, but I still do most of my grocery shopping at Trader Joe's just because your girl is on a budget. <laughs> I just finished writing my grocery list so that I don't forget anything and I can also focus on filling my cart with stuff that I actually need versus just random stuff that I see because I tend to do that a lot. So I like to organize everything by category so I have fruit, veggies, protein, snacks, and other. So whenever I go out, I always bring my reusable shopping bag and I recently just got these cotton mesh produce bags because you guys know I'm trying to live a more sustainable lifestyle and reduce my plastic use. The brand is all cotton and linen and I just got this set from Amazon. It was pretty cheap and it comes in a few different sizes, I believe. So I'll be sure to leave the link in the description box below in case if any of you guys are interested. So yeah, I'm just gonna bring a few of these today. All right, let's go. First stop, Whole Foods. So I'm getting some organic strawberries and then also some frozen blueberries because I love just snacking on these. So when I'm grocery shopping, I usually like to shop around the perimeter of the store just because that's usually where all the fresh whole foods are, like me and produce. Um, and in between the aisles is usually where people get lost with all the processed foods. All the processed foods. And I need some tomatoes. So here's everything that I have so far. This is kale, spinach, and I was going to get the spinach for the produce bags, but it was actually a lot more expensive, so I just opted for this tomatoes, blueberries, and strawberries. Grabbing another bag of my favorite cauliflower chips and of course my favorite chocolate bars. So I think that I got everything that I needed from Whole Foods. This is it. And then the rest I'm just gonna get from Trader Joe's. Next stop. So the thing with bananas, or I guess really anything that has a thick peel or skin, is that you don't need to buy them organic. So there's this list called the Clean 15 and Dirty 15, and that's basically what I go by when determining whether or not to buy stuff that's organic, and I will leave it here on the screen for reference. So Whole Foods was out of organic raspberries, so I'm just gonna get them here. Oh my god, do you guys see that? It's moldy already. This is what I mean when I say that I think the Whole Foods produce is more fresh because I feel like this happens a lot when I go to Trader Joe's. Okay, this one seems good. <laughs> Avocados are another thing that you don't need to buy organic because they have a hard shell or peel. I usually like to buy a mix of ripe and unripe avocados, but these all look super unripe. <laughs> oh, wait. I found one. Hey. <laughs> so for protein, I usually like getting ground turkey to mix with my pasta. And then also some salmon. I also really like the Trader Joe's bulgogi. It's perfect for stir fry. I'm not going to get it this time, but I did want to give it an honorable mention. <laughs> Guys, if you come to Trader Joe's, you have to try their new coconut smoothie. It's seriously so good, and as you can see, it's very popular. So for eggs, I always make sure that they're organic and free range. Looks good. <laughs> If you guys have seen any of my what I eat in a week videos, then you would know that I put this toasted coconut granola on top of my yogurt all the time and I love it. And of course, ice cream mochi. I usually get the mango one now because I'm pretty sure they discontinued the matcha one that I used to get and I'm so sad about that. Um, but yeah, the mango one's also pretty good. 
So this is my favorite sparkling water. It contains minerals like calcium and magnesium, which our bodies need. And I swear that this tastes different than other sparkling waters. Like I've tried the San Pellegrino, but I swear that this tastes better. It's just so damn good. And also Trader Joe's is the cheapest place to buy it. All right, so I got everything that I need. Let's go home. So I'm home now and I was originally planning to vlog more at the grocery store but I ended up just getting really shy and awkward. I really don't get how people vlog in public. I just felt so weird talking to myself and everyone was staring. Um, so yeah, I thought that I would just show you guys what I got now that I'm home. So this is everything that I got from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. I will say I don't normally get this much on a weekly basis. It's just that my fridge was pretty empty and I feel like all of this could probably last me for about a week and a half, maybe even two if I stretch it out. So the first thing that I got were these two lemons because I want to try getting back into drinking hot lemon water in the morning because it's really good for your digestion. I just got lazy and fell off the bandwagon, but going to make this more of a priority. Next, I got some fresh berries. So I got raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. And I love just snacking on these berries and also putting them on top of my yogurt. I got a bunch of bananas because I eat about one a day and I also really love putting them in my smoothies. I got three avocados. I feel like this guy feels about ready. And then I'll probably have to wait to eat these two. Next, I got some mushrooms and tomatoes because I love adding these to my eggs and also to my pasta. I got two red peppers for a stir fry, kale, and then two bags of spinach. And I always get two bags just because I cook with spinach and then I also put it in my smoothies. So I go through it pretty quickly. And for the kale, I don't put kale in my smoothies anymore just because I realize I don't digest raw kale that well. It usually makes me feel super bloated. So I actually like to uh, saute this for dinner, especially with the avocado. It's so good, especially when you cook it in coconut oil. Next, I got my favorite sparkling water, and I honestly should have gotten two or three because I go through these super fast. I can literally drink a whole bottle in one sitting, um, but they're just super heavy to carry back, so that's the only downside about them. Next, I got my favorite Rayo's tomato sauce, and what I like about this sauce, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the store, but the ingredients are super duper clean if my camera will focus. Okay, there we go. So the only ingredients are whole peeled tomatoes, olive oil, onions, basil, salt, garlic, black pepper, and oregano. I feel like a lot of tomato sauces often have sugar and other additives, but I love that this one is so clean. So I've been really into reading labels lately just because I want to know what's actually going inside my body. My rule of thumb with ingredients is the fewer the better because I want to be eating real whole natural foods and also I look for ingredients that I can actually pronounce because odds are if you've never seen the word before it probably means that it's an additive and it's probably not good for you. And that's another reason why I started shopping at Whole Foods more often. It is more expensive but I just find that they have a lot more cleaner options when it comes to I guess processed food like snacks and like tomato sauce. Okay, getting back into the haul for snacks, I got another bag of my favorite cauliflower tortilla chips. I always get the sea salt flavor. These are plant-based, gluten-free, and vegan. And I love pairing these with the Siete, I think, spicy white blanco sauce. I'll insert a photo of it right here so you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh my god, that combination is seriously the bomb.com. It's so good. I also restocked on these crunchy kale crisps. These are perfect to snack on when you're craving something safe. And again, the ingredients are, oh my god, my camera will never focus. <laughs> As you can see, the ingredients are super clean and minimal. I also got these two Go Macro bars. I've never tried these before, but I've heard really good things about them. I got the peanut butter chocolate chip and then the coconut, almond butter, and chocolate chip. And I just thought that these would be perfect to throw in my bag when I'm on the go or either after a workout. For protein, I got some salmon, ground turkey, and eggs, but they wouldn't fit on the table, so they're in the fridge right now. And then I needed some butter, so I decided to try this Miyoko's uh, vegan butter. This is dairy-free, and I've actually tried their yogurt, and I really liked it, so I decided to give this butter a try. And last, but certainly not least, are these Trader Joe's coconut smoothies. And oh my god, guys, these are so freaking good. I'm so obsessed with them right now, and I'm not even a big 
coconut person to be honest. If you guys are really into coconut water, this tastes pretty similar to Harmless and I know that they have a coconut water version at Trader Joe's and it's pink and it looks just like Harmless and I've heard that it tastes like that but I like the smoothie version better because it has real coconut meat and the best part about these is that they're only three dollars oh such a steal and i usually get more but these were the only two that i could reach on the shelf but yeah that is everything that i got from the grocery store i hope you guys enjoyed this video i don't know i personally really enjoy watching grocery hauls i love finding new things to try so yeah let me know if you guys would want to see more of these i would be happy to film them and yeah i guess that's all i have to say um i'll see you guys in my next one bye